Hey, 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 welcome back to another guide of mine. This time I'm going to show you how to run a dedicated server for Power World with Steam CMD. You may ask, why run Steam CMD for a dedicated server for Power World? If you run it with Steam CMD, you won't need a copy of Power World, meaning you run it for free. Yeah, boogie. But if you run the dedicated server they have on Steam Library, you will need to purchase the game, but it is a bit more easier to manage for non-technical folks. I will most likely drop down a video on that as well, just so there's more options than just the Steam CMD version of hosting Power World dedicated server. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, hopefully you know how to port forward on your router, and the port we're gonna be port forwarding is 8211. And if you've done this correctly on your router, then you've pretty much finished 50% of the setup already. You will need to log into your router to achieve port forwarding. If you have never done this, I will kind of show you how you can. Just launch command prompt on your dedicated server. Type in ipconfig. Take note of the IPv4 address. Take note of the default gateway IP. Open up a browser. Type in the default gateway IP address. If you don't know the login information at this point, it should be on your router with a sticker with the username and password. I highly recommend changing the default password if you haven't already, just for security reasons. If you don't know how to port forward on your modem router, you may just need to Google it for your specific model. But in my case, I am going to log into my Asus modem. I'm going to go to WAN, port forwarding, add a profile, and add in the ports that need to be forwarded to my dedicated servers. Now we'll need to download Steam CMD. First off, download Steam CMD if you haven't already on the machine you'll be hosting your server. So simply just open up a browser and just type in Steam CMD downloads and make sure it's on this one. Go to Steam CMD, we have developer community. Click on Windows. Click on the links to download the files. So while you are still downloading Steam CMD, let's just go ahead to your C drive and we'll just make a new folder called Steam CMD. All right. Okay, once you have Steam CMD downloaded, it should be in the downloads folder. Just go ahead and right click, hit extract all. You can browse and we'll go to this PC C drive and we're going to look for that new folder you just created called CMD. Let's go ahead and select the folder and just hit extract. And once it's in this folder, it should just only have this steamcmd.exe file. And once you double click on it, it will go ahead and populate all these other files that you need here. And that's it. Once you're done downloading Steam CMD, we'll just go ahead and launch it. steamcmd.exe file right here. Watch that bad boy. All right. And the following commands we're going to be doing is force install dir c colon backslash power world server. And what this is going to do is create a folder called power world server in your C drive. Hit enter. And then now we're going to do login anonymous. And you're going to hit enter as well. And now you're going to want to do app update under app underscore update 2394010 space validate. And just hit enter. Let it download its files. Once you do have it downloaded, we're going to go back to the C drive and look for that new folder we created. Feel free to close this theme CMD terminal screen out. You can just type in quit. Now we're going to go to our C drive, look for that folder that we just created, which is Power World Server. It's right here. All right. And now the next step we want to do is launch this palserver.exe to generate some needed files for the server. All right. And if it's your first time launching this, it might pop up a Windows firewall asking you, should you allow this on your network? And just go ahead and hit click allow. This way it will allow PAL server to run through your firewalls as well. And once this is done, pretty much, just go ahead and um, click into it and hit Control C to properly close it out. All right, and there you go. 
All right, now the next step is to edit this. As long as you're still in the same folder, Pal World server. Default power settings.ini, we want to click onto that and just right click and hit edit. Okay. Now we want to copy everything from the script all the way down. Okay, and just to make sure that we copied or grabbed it all. All right, and then we'll just control C to copy or right click copy. All right, we're gonna keep that. And we could just uh, minimize this if you want to. All right, so we're still in the same folder, right? So now we're gonna need to navigate to PAL, the PAL folder, saved, config, Windows Server. And what you want to do is look for the PowerWeld settings.ini file, which we could just type it out here. And it should come up. All right. And now what we want to do is right click into it, hit edit. And at first you might have nothing in here, right? All you want to do is just paste all this in here and then just file save it. And now you'll need to edit these options, which is the server name. You can do control F to find. And what we're gonna look for is server name. So let's type that in. If you can't find it, you may need to adjust the directions up, down. Okay. And put in your server name that you want it to be named as. As in this instance, this is minus RG dash gaming. Put in your server description. Oh gosh. Put in your server description as well between the quotation marks. Add in the admin password as well. This is for all the in game commands for admins and the server. Put in the server password to join the server. Now we'll need to want to edit the public IP as well. So you will want to edit this as well. Uh, if you don't know what your public IP is, we can find it pretty easily. Just open up a browser and just type in what is my IP address dot com. And it should pop up showing the IPv4. Copy the public IP address right here and just throw it in that notepad, the parallel settings, throw that IP in there. And also I would highly recommend reviewing PowerWorld's server guide on the config files on what you want to adjust on their website. I will go ahead and put that description down below, but it's just really docs.powerworldgame.com. And then you got to put in the settings and configurations there, but I'll leave it down in the description below. And if you do scroll down a little bit, it'll kind of tell you what parameters and what the description is. So just go ahead and read through that and then set your settings as you prefer. Okay, once you're done setting up the Powell settings, just don't forget to file and save or control S to save. And then you can close this bad boy out. Now we'll need to navigate back to the C drive. Go back to Powell server folder. And now we'll need to create a new file. And before we start on this, go to the view section Make sure your file name extensions is checkmarked because we're going to make a new batch file to start the server. So just right click anywhere into here, the blank space, right click new text document, and we're going to name this start. And we're going to change this from txt file to bat batch and just hit yes. All right. And just right click and hit edit and you'll want to put this whole command in there. I will provide this in the descriptions below, uh, but for key pointers here, replace their server name. This is how you're gonna find the server name in the community server. You can also remove the epic app equals pal server if you're not using epic crossplay or public listing, but I would recommend just leaving that on. And also I did add the dash public lobby that way it shows up in the community servers. So that way my friends can find it easier. But if you don't want this to pop up in the community server, you can simply just take this out. But once you're done with all your changes, 
Just go in and hit save and just close out of it. And now we'll just launch the batch file. Just double click into it. And um, for some reason, the batch file that I created did not update the server as I expected it to. So in order to manually do the update, um, I just ran the same command in the beginning. Uh, we just did the force install directory, c colon backslash power world server, login anonymous, and put in the app underscore update 2394010 space validate, and now it's updating properly on the same folder. Okay, I do want to um, update you guys about the new start batch or start dash update batch that I made, which is pretty new. Just right click and, and edit. I'm just going to show you guys what you guys need to edit. I'll put this in the description down below if you guys are advanced and you know your file pathing. Uh, so make sure you set your Steam CMD path. This is exactly where your Steam CMD resides. And this is going to target the C drive, the Steam CMD folder, and the Steam CMD.exe file. And you want to put in your server path as well, which is this, my case is C drive. And then it's the Power World server. And then down below here, where it says launch the server, I just put edit the server name accordingly, which is between these quotation marks right here, and the dash server name. So just put in your server name right there, and then just hit save. And just going to show you guys a little demonstration of what it does. Once you double click into it, it's going to actually log in anonymously, look for updates. And right now it's just verifying the updates, making sure there's no corruption. And if you're interested in this, I'll put it in the description below, like I mentioned earlier. So it's going to pop up this another box, meaning that it launched PAL server. And then you can um, just press any key to close this out. All right. And that's it. Now we'll just need to launch the game now. Okay. Now we're back to Power World. And we're going to do join multiplayer game here. All right. And we're going to go to community servers. And we're going to put in that server name that we uh, put in the batch file. In my case, it's RG Gaming. And there it is, it should show up right there. And we're gonna double click in and put in the server password. And this is just the description, just a demo, proceed. So I know that's my server. Okay. And yep, it looks like it did work. And we, we just started from the starting point. Also, I do wanna get out this and show you guys a different way of connecting to the servers if it doesn't show up in the community servers. All right, so for some reason, if you can't find your friend's server or find your own server, um, there is a direct connect on right under here. Um, you simply just need to type in that public IP address from whatsmyipaddress.com website, and your IP is probably going to look like what? Um, let's just type in a random IP, like 55, 20, and 200. And then it's going to be semicolon, which is going to be needed and then 8211 that is the port and you can simply just hit connect and you just put in the password which is the server password but this isn't going to work because that IP address doesn't really exist provide the public IP address to your friends if they can't find the server name in the community server section um, also do note that if you don't have a static IP for your internet service provider your public IP can change at any time so if someone or you can't join the server, it's best to check if your IP changed. So just go back to that IP, what's my IP address.com website, uh, just to make sure that your public IP did not change. Um, other than that, uh, hopefully this helped and enjoy.